I didn't actually do anything properly to celebrate hitting a million subscribers. We, in the last 30 days, I believe grew 350,000 YouTube subscribers. I really want this to sink in. We are the fastest growing YouTube channel in history on this side of the YouTube. Yeah, of course, there's some prank channels or some family channels that have grown a little bit faster. I'm talking about anything to do with fitness, finance, social dynamics, anything that makes you a better person. It's not even close. We've broken records. We've made history. Yes, you heard that right. Iman has been one of the fastest growing YouTube channels in history. You see, up until a few months ago, Iman was getting about 1000 subscribers a month. But then in July, this happened. Iman, with his infamous sure knee, suddenly started getting recommended all across YouTube. What makes it more interesting is the reasons for his sudden growth. It's difficult to reach many people in finance. Because for many it's too much education and they prefer to amuse themselves on YouTube, such as pranks or Mr. Beast videos. But how did he still manage to reach over 2.5 million people with one video? What are we missing? What could Iman possibly have discovered about YouTube in July that led to this growth? Well, I decided to dig deeper into Iman's backstory. And it shouldn't surprise you that this guy is a lot smarter than you think. In fact, Iman has pretty much discovered the new blueprint for how to grow a YouTube channel. He used a three-step system to beat the algorithm. If you look one of his first videos, from the beginning he had a goal he wanted to achieve with YouTube. So now what I want to do is I want to take this, I want to share my journey and if that inspires and that motivates people along the way, I've done what I, I've, I've accomplished my goal. But he did not stand out with his videos because the quality was rather simple and far from professional. But Iman had the skills and money to hire people. And this takes us on step number one. Iman hired a professional editor. Right now a lot of people say YouTube is too competitive. And there is some truth behind this. There has never been more creators competing for the same audience. But here's the good thing. YouTube algorithm rewards great videos. Now that might sound overly simple, but when you strip back all the noise, its purpose is to show intriguing and well-made videos to the right audience. As you may know, YouTube measures this with two main metrics. Click-through rate, EI, the percentage of people who click when shown the video and the average view duration, which is how long these people end up watching the video for. Here's the difficulty though. How can YouTube tell if a video is good if no one sees it in the first place? It's a chicken and egg scenario. The first thousand viewers are always the hardest to capture. Some creators target search using keywords, some try to make videos about current trends, hoping to get sweeped up to the wave of content. And then there is the shortcut strategy that Iman used. With his business knowledge, which he has acquired over the years, which has a lot of value, only needed a fine sleeve from a really well edited video to get the channel rolling. This hiring definitely improved the video quality immensely because it was the spark that lit the fire. Now YouTube has a much larger audience to test Iman's video with. They could show these viewers the videos and if the click through rate and average view duration was good, the algorithm would kick in and start pushing the videos to more people. If a channel is set up in the right way, an injection of people can lead to a snowballing effect. But there is a problem. It could be that Iman would edit the video differently than his editor and the outcome comes to the viewer completely different than Iman intended. And if there was a misunderstanding, it can have the opposite effect. So how did Iman make videos that the algorithm loved? Well that takes us on step 2. Iman became the master of intros. We all know watch time is very important to grow on YouTube. But how can you convince the people who clicked to watch your whole video? That's because Iman has intense, serious and a very appealing beginnings in the video. All right, listen to me very closely because life for the top 1% of men is better than it has ever been. Which calls the questions, how can I become one? What does he know that I don't? And to have the questions answered, you have to watch the whole video. 
Let's take a look at this video here and break it down in action. The first thing I want you to pay attention to is Iman's wording. Alright, listen to me very closely because life for the top 1% of men is better than it has ever been. And for the other 99% of men, it is more depressing than it has ever been. Because you see, contrary to what they tell you in the media, life for a man is actually quite hard. It's a video game where you start right at the beginning, at level zero, and every single day you have to work to level up. You see, because if you don't, some other guy will, and that guy will take the money that could have been yours, the life that could have been yours, and this is going to be very, very, very difficult for you to hear right now, but even the wife that could have been yours. In these first 30 seconds, he addresses the viewer precisely he says how nice your life could be and if you don't, how bad and depressing it would look. And because his viewers feel so addressed in the first seconds, they have to figure out how to become one of the top 1% of men. And the perfect music adds variety. That almost forces you to stay engaged. It's very hard to feel bored if the topic concerns you. A lot of creators focus all their attention on the visual edits and not enough on the sound which he executed perfectly. The main reason Iman does this is to keep the viewer as an active watcher. Iman demands your full attention. If you don't pay attention for even a second, you will miss vital context. The speed with a lot of information means you will naturally have to pause and rewind a few times per video. This can lead to spikes in retention and actually count for a longer average view duration. But the real genius comes from Iman's storytelling. I know on the surface he might not seem like he's coming from the movie industry. He certainly doesn't. But hear me out. Most of his videos follow the same storytelling template. A relatable situation is presented, explaining that this video is for everyone that wants to change his life for the better, showing ideas how to do it, and then the video builds on that, that you should use your skills. The story is crafted to constantly give the viewer new stimulus. You to be as conscious have a beginning, a middle and end these days. There needs to be much value in a professional way presented. Everything we've discussed so far is important, but there is something missing that in my opinion is the main reason Iman gained 500,000 subscribers in 3 months. Which takes us on step 3. Iman discovered the ultimate title and thumbnail strategy. Let's start by looking at the titles. Iman always covers topics that are very relatable. He never writes a title that limits the video's potential. Every single one in theory could appeal to millions of viewers. Also notice how concise they are. On average Iman's titles are 33 characters long. For context, this is almost half the average title's length on YouTube. This is actually a competitive advantage. Viewers can fully understand the concept of the video in just a glance. Another really smart tactic is how often he uses big numbers in his titles. This might seem irrelevant to some of you, but trust me, it's very purposeful. They add an element of uniqueness to each title. And there's even more to learn from his thumbnails. First of all, his face is on every thumbnail he has. And if there is a face, it's much more appealing to the potential viewer than if there is not. And with this approach, he creates his own brand of himself on all of his videos. This leads to people recognizing him directly by his face and being more likely to click on the video as a viewer. His title sets up the video and states what it's about. And his thumbnails creates a familiar face with brilliant quality. It's simple, but when combined together he sells the video to the viewer. I think if there's one thing we can be certain of, this guy's growth was far from an accident. Iman always stay consistent and it was only a matter of time until he blew up. If you found this video interesting, all I ask for is a subscribe.